Okay, so to start this off, we are going to prime. And today I am actually using a two in one sunscreen and primer. So this is Glow Screen by Supergoop. And it is FBF 40. And it is a great SPF as well as a primer, it's supposed to give a luminous glow. And I was wearing it earlier before I put on makeup today, so I have already a little bit on. So I'm just going to reapply a tiny drop and distribute it over my face. Here we go. The instructions say to use a dime size amount and I think I used just a little bit under but again I already put sunscreen on my face and we're just making sure we have a little bit more primer on so that my makeup sticks really nicely and today I will be using my El Maquillage I am shade 215 I've been using this foundation for a few months now and I absolutely love it. It is probably the best foundation match I have personally had to date. Um, and it really does look the most skin-like that I have tried. So for me, this is it. So I like to just start, and this is just a damp beauty sponge. This is actually a blending egg from Beauty Bakery. small amount and really just work in work a little palette on my hand and one thing I've started doing just to minimize excess product use I don't really do anything heavy under my eyes I leave that more or less light um, and I may actually leave this area completely blank um, and that allows me to not overdo it. I'll go in with concealer over there. So I just need one more pump of the foundation. Again. And I'm just really working that in. Definitely learning that I don't have to be crazy heavy handed with my foundation in order for it to make an impact. I'm just kind of going back over to blend it all out and blending it lightly within my neck area, but again, not being overly crazy with the product. So next, I am going to grab my light concealer, and I'm going to use that for my eye area. I do not have eye primer, so I'm using the concealer not so much for the item for the eyeshadow to stick better. This is just giving it a little bit of a lighter base so that it shows up as more pigmented. Um, I find just with my complexion, things can be not quite as pigmented as I would hope occasionally. And so giving it just a little bit of a lighter color here helps make sure that things are able to be as vibrant because some flowers are vibrant we're just gonna do just a little bit more inside you can see this is a light light color for me I wouldn't normally 
wear anything this light because it's a little chalky on me. Contacts have to go. Okay. So we have that there as a base. And in order to really make the sunflower vibe pop, we are going to be using a couple of different eyeshadow palettes. So I have my Beauty Bakery Sugar Palette, Sugar Cookie Palette. I have my Proof is in the Pudding Palette. And then I'm actually gonna be using this super cheapy palette by e.l.f. Um, because it has this gorgeous yellow, which I don't have personally in anything else in my collection. So I'm gonna begin by finding a very fluffy brush. And one thing I'm trying to grow in my beauty journey is getting more specific on brushes because I am a little bit haphazard with that. And I'm gonna take Mango Pudding right over here. And that's going to be the shade we're starting with. Mango Pudding is this nice kind of brown and orange sort of shade. So we're going to start right in the crease. Going to fluff it in. One tip that has stayed with me is that wherever. Sorry, guys, my eyes really mess with me. <laughs> wherever you put your brush down at first, that's where you're going to get the biggest concentration of color. You definitely want to make sure that you're strategic with where you start. Yeah, there is no no such thing as too much blending. And you guys can see right there on the side. So this is a transition shade. It is a orangey brown. And we're going to do the exact same thing here. Again, start placing it right there and work it in. Thing that we're going to do is grab from our sugar cookie palette this dip baby dip which is slightly more of a red color and so what I'm going to do is just kind of dip into that and we're going to put this kind of in this area and we're going to put in Adds a little bit more pigment here and do the same exact thing on this side. And this is really the only area that we're going to bring this color in because we don't want to overdo the kind of orangey red. We really do want this to be more of a concentration again on the soft orange and the yellow. So I'm going to go back in with mango pudding and we're going to use a fluffy brush here and we're going to start the inside and sweep that same direction but really then out and maybe dip with it. So we're left with a nice wash of color. Now I'm going to take out my e.l.f. palette and this is the Hot Jalapeno palette and we're going to be using the shimmery 
yellow. But before we do that, I'm just going to build it up with a couple more browns because um, I definitely want this to be a multi-dimensional sort of look. So we're going to go in with warm cocoa. If you think about sunflowers, they really are like a brown and a yellow. So the warm cocoa, we're just going to bounce on top of dip. dip. Well, I mean, just to make stand out just a little bit more. Okay, so now, like I said a second ago, we're going to go in with the elf and I'm going to see if it names the yellow shade, but it's the only yellow shade in there. And I am going to take a brush that is a little bit denser and shorter. When I use glittery sort of shades, I like to take a little bit of mineral water spray so that they stick a little bit better. So I just take it and give a couple of fine sprays. And so when you take it in there, you just kind of press it down. Get a little bit of color payoff that way. And so what we're really gonna do, the sunflower is going to be the inner corner of the eye. Now the cool thing about using the red is that red and yellow make orange. So just kind of thinking about how colors work, right? We're strategically using that so that we get the blend of what we need. You're gonna see more of a true yellow at the corner, but because we have the red there, it is going to kinda of create both for us. And so we are densely patting this over, dragging a little bit as well and just kind of paying attention to the shape of our eyes. This is gonna stop at this far down your eye, so we kind of go to one third of that. And then the same thing on the other eye, right? We are going to put that in. I'm not. <laughs> so I'm gonna go back in with your brush here. Right 
half this video is going to be me searching for the right brush. I really like almost promise you. Take a fluffy brush and go into red pudding. And I'm just going to kind of out here. This is a little bit of a chalky tone. So you want to make sure that we pull it like here. This is it. I'm gonna finish my makeup and we will see how it's looking. El Maquillage for Holy Concealer. Now we're gonna keep it nice and light and bright. Facebook map, facial face lift method. Look. my brown turn contour so I guess I'm not doing that today. my Beauty Baku powder. I don't use powder all the time. However, I think this is a good look for some powder. So I'm just going to take my sponge. And I'm going to try to be too heavy handed with it. Can make you look too pale. And this is the vibe of the not the pale look. And this is the shade Caramel or Plantain, just in case you were curious. And I'm just going to... 
I don't have a large fluffy brush right now that I can find. So this is why I'm doing it with this brush, which is a little denser than I would typically recommend, but we are making use, making do, because we were a tad bit impatient to wait till we found everything. I'm mad that I can't find my bronzer. I used the brownie bar from Beauty Bakery and the orange shade to this, which just make it pop. So hopefully I can find that. And if I can, I will come back on camera with that. But we're not letting it stop us now. Okay, I'm back and I found the stuff I was talking about. So this is the fluffier brush. And I am going to just try to dust the rest of the excess. And this is my brownie bar. You see how that terracotta shade is just gonna pop? Like, I'm excited. And what I do have, I don't have the brush I usually would apply this with, but I'm going to use this. And we're gonna start with our contour, which we use the chocolatey shade. And I'm just going to carve that out a little bit. that strong contour. And I am going to go back in after wiping off as much excess as I can here. And blend out that nice strong contour because we want to look chiseled not crazy okay and take a second to reach for my magnetic liner because I can't do lashes very well to save my life. So this is from Opulence MD Beauty. They are a black owned company that does magnetic lashes. So, I am going to follow up and kind of strengthen the yellow, but I want to give this a chance to dry first before I do that, and then I will actually apply the lashes. And 
And I do like just in general. Ooh, see, I actually lost my contact. Y'all see the, just in general how much, um, how striking the black looks against here. So I'm gonna let that dry for a hot second. And while that happens, I'm gonna decide on lip color. So I'm thinking I'm gonna use one of my favorites. This is Savage by The Lip Bar. I don't know about you, but I find favorites and I hold them dearly and I don't use anything else. Like seriously, like this is bae and this is always gonna be bae. <laughs> I'm being silly, but like I'm dead serious. So we're gonna use this. This is like a nice neutral shade, a little reddish. Now, I am not the one, this is super controversial, I feel like in beauty, I don't do my brows all the time, and that is what it is. Um, I am gonna brush them. And I would have done my brows for this look if I could find my brow product, but that's how much I don't do it every day, that I don't even know where it is. But we are gonna brush them. And we are I'm gonna go back in with just a tad bit of the liner because I do want this to have good staying power. Excuse the close up. This is what happens when your contact falls out. And we're gonna sharpen up just from an appearance look after they are on <laughs> with some regular eyeliner. Okay guys, I'm gonna be back and get a contact in. <laughs> and then we're gonna see how this looks like. Okay, I can see again. So we are on Operation Brighten and Freshen and all that stuff. So Another mist. Got the yellow again. We're gonna do the same thing with a flatter brush. I believe we use mint purple. I just love how yellow looks on deeply melanated skin. Don't get me wrong, anybody can pull off yellow. I firmly believe that people should stop telling themselves that they just flat out can't do a color. Like there is a shade or an undertone of it that you will look great in. Um, and yellow is one of those historically scary colors, but like, bro, it's not.
the most difficult part of these looks to me is just trying to figure out where you put stuff. You're like, where to put it? Huh? Huh? Exactly. Just heartbreaker. Also by the lip bar. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pop on my lashes. These are unicorn lashes from Opulence MD Beauty. And let's see. These are supposed to have just a little hint of color on them. So, so I want to go with these. Some people like to use the doziers, but I cannot with them. I just gently use my fingers to try to pinch them closer to the lash line. And let that be that. Okay. This is my regular eyeliner. I'm gonna pop these off real quickly, but I'm glad I know I actually like these. Okay. And to finish it off, I got this really cool orange headband with my headband wig that I'm wearing. And so, figure what else could I do to make this look super sunflowery? Then finish it off with this. Anybody want to go pick sunflowers with me? <laughs> Thanks for watching this look. If you enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe, and follow me at That Breezy Beauty on Instagram. Thanks for watching. Bye!